Ariel Helwani in Los Angeles for the Mayweather McGregor press tour alongside George Lockhart, Conor McGregor's nutritionist, of course, nutritionist for many other famous fighters, but this is a pretty unique situation here. You've been in Dublin with Conor for the last few weeks, correct? Yes, sir, yeah. yeah. He uh, flew me out as soon as the match got announced, and I've uh, been working with him ever since. How much does he weigh right now? I can't I can't say that. Why is that so secret? Well, because, uh, you know, a lot of times when uh, you work with a fighter, yeah. a lot of fighters, it's funny, they'll be like, I want people to think that this is the hardest cut ever. Okay. I want this to be, like, you know, make them think it was an easy cut. Sometimes when it's a hard cut, they want people to think it's easy and vice versa, so I never give like detailed information out. I don't want you to sort of compare your fighters because that's sort of like comparing your children, but how would you describe the experience of working with Connor and his, his motivation and self-belief and determination and work ethic? How would you describe it? Man, it is uh, it is unique. You know, every, every fighter I work with is obviously unique, like you said about the whole kid thing. Um, but the truth is, like, working with him, it's, it's, it's eye-opening. When I see, like, a lot of people think, like, oh, he took this, you know, like, as a money fight or whatever. No, man, when I went out to see him train, I'm like, man, he's, he's out to win this, and, and he believes it. And it's funny because... You see that belief, and it it, it it affects everybody around him. And they believe it's like, man, honestly, like watching him train, uh, I'm a believer, man. I'm like, wow, you know. And I know the odds with with uh, with Mayweather, but uh, dude, seriously. And so here we are, a month and a half away. What, what exactly is your role? Like, how do you? You're going to all the stops, right? Yeah. You're cooking all his meals. Nothing gets by you. Are you the one? Like, it has to come from you. Yep, that's it, man. You know, um, he basically, I just give him the food, tell him what to eat, what to drink, and it, it, he doesn't put anything else in his mouth. No supplementation, no nothing, unless I give it to him. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a, it, it's a lot different though. Like with MMA, weight cutting, it's yeah. an advantage. You know what I'm saying? If you gain a whole bunch of weight back, 20 pounds, boxing is a lot different. You know, like we don't. How so? We don't want to cut a whole bunch of weight. That's why, you know, like a lot of people are like, George, you need to get in the boxing world. And I'm like, a lot of these guys just walk right in on weight, you know what I mean? Because the, the truth of the matter is, is nobody's hanging on you, nobody's trying to take you down, so that weight doesn't really have as much of a factor with boxing. Okay. But if, I, if I'm if i bigger than you, but I can't hit you, it doesn't really doesn't help you. You don't want him to gain, well, like, what would be ideal for fight night? Uh, honestly, fight night, I want, I want him to, like, the week of the fight, I want him to walk about five pounds, five pounds over the week of, so we don't actually, actually cut anything, you know, okay. just cut back a little bit on the, the food, manipulate the sodium a little bit, and, wakes up on weight and then come the point that he steps in the ring how much do you want him to weigh approximately a lot more like 10 pounds or less i want him literally training at the weight that he's gonna be fighting at you okay. know what i'm saying like you know not cutting like literally week of same exact weight a little manipulation Can you give us like a sample menu like for today what is he eating yeah so uh this morning he had a seared ahi tuna with a green sprout like salad we had a lot of raw like this week is because uh he, he doesn't have a lot of carbs this week reason being is we're not going to be able to, you know, like we're flying out everywhere, yeah. so we, I, we don't want to be loading him up. His muscles don't need it as much. So we want to fuel the brain, greens, fruits, things like that, right? You know, um, fructose type carbs, you know what I'm saying, without getting all nerdy and everything. Um, so it's going to be a higher fat meals. Um, as, as he uh, trains, man, I, I, it's, it's just ridiculous. I give him carbs, like load up on carbs, man. It's just, it's, it's insane. And then he'll like lose weight. Like, I'm like, I don't know how this is possible, but you know what I mean? His body works optimally, you know what I mean? Like just because a lot of people eat the same amount of carbs, calories or whatever, their bodies don't absorb it and use it as efficiently as his. So um, yeah, like I said, this week it's a lot of a lot of uh, higher fats. I'm getting I'm getting to give him red meat this week. Like uh, like I said, he had the seared ahi tuna. Um, he's, he'll have like lamb, like lamb chops. He'll have uh, last night he had bison. So uh, yeah, we put like a nice mango puree with uh, paprika and everything. Wow. So it's good. How do you do this in all the different cities? Isn't that challenging? It is. You know, <laughs> Wolf uh, Wolf Hut gang. They uh, they let us use the kitchen. Wow. Yeah, man. And like I had the chef there and everything, so it's cool because every time I go, not only do I get to use this stuff, but you know I get to work with all the chefs and they show me new things and you know it's cool because they're like wow that looks really good and then coming from somebody like that you're like all right you know like i'm learning you know so i love uh back in the day like when i was working with brian stan he made a comment on instagram not too long ago like man all you made was boiled chicken and like junk food and now it's like man we make the food good because you don't have to you know what i mean so and are you with him until august 26th every second okay. yep yes sir wow. Business is good for you. You're all over the place. <laughs> it's good, man. We're Daniel busy. Cormier, all these guys. Yeah. I mean, you're. Yeah, we, got, we got one of our guys working with Daniel yeah. Cormier. Tyler, right? Yep, Tyler Mitten. Right. Got him working with Cormier. Uh, Dan's actually working with a client. We can't we can't tell you who it is, but um, and then we have about 30 fighters. So we have we have two more guys that we gotta we gotta pull on and make sure that all the fighters are taken care of. Well, keep it up, and of course, good luck Thanks, the next bro. month and a half Thanks with so Connor. Much, man. Appreciate it.